I like to picture Jesus as a ninja fighting off evil samurai. How much you want to make a bet I can throw a football over the mountains? What? English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Yeah, fuck it, dude. Let's go bold. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. Welcome, everybody, to the, uh, the main, shit. Alright, no, we're good. I just had the intro, and then it played the next song. Welcome to the Mink Bluff Filmcast. I'm a guy whose name is Connor, who goes to see movies sometimes in the theaters, and then I come home, and then I talk about them, because why, what else is there to do? Uh, this is my friend, John, Jonathan. Hello. Jeffries, he has a podcast. There's it's actually only one of me. There. Uh, Jeffrey. Oh, Jeffrey. John We're only Jeffrey. called Jeffreys when there's multiple offs. In John, one room. Je- John Jefferson. Yes. Jonathan T. Jefferson. Yeah. Well, that would be a lot better than my actual <laughs> fucking middle name. What is it? Edward. <laughs> I have the whitest That's name pretty could good. possibly be given. No. What? John, John Edward Jeffrey. Yeah, I feel like you would write I that be with a like. Lord in Great Britain. Yeah, you would write that with like a quilled pen. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. From the desk of. <laughs> Sir John. Yes. Oh, I Sir do. Jonathan. I'd love to be knighted. I don't think Americans can. That's a. So we went to go see yesterday. A movie. <laughs> That's... No, yesterday. we went today. <laughs> we went. We went to see yesterday today. I forgot there's video, so I don't want to make myself look like an asshole. Oh, Sorry, you you don't have to try to do that. That's pretty easy, in terms of you acting. So we went. It's about a guy. He's this Indian fellow. And he's around probably early 30s, late 20s. And he's shit. I 30s. Yeah, he's shit at Long music. Long enough to be a loser. Well, right. You know he's I mean? a loser. Yeah. He's shit at music. and Writing music. He's a halfway decent singer. Right. right yeah, he's he's actually, yeah, he's a pretty good performer, honestly. Yeah. But uh, writing music is not his strong suit. No. Let's just say. And uh, he gets hit by a car. Bus. No, he I'm does get sure hit. I'm pretty sure it was a bus. I'm pretty sure he gets hit by a car, and then they wrote it in the script that he got hit by a bus but like the car worked better visually so like i think they just hoped people wouldn't notice that he didn't i don't know i have to rewatch it okay but I, i'm not <laughs> it wasn't that great let's just say that to start off it was perfectly average yeah. for its entire runtime 100 percent until the last <laughs> i call it the last maybe half hour right where it started to lose me in that like 20 minutes of that half hour mm-hmm. but then the last 10 minutes fuck that yeah yeah it was not it wasn't well executed i would say not the ending at the very least right. what was your what was your overall like what was your thoughts you on this favorite? movie oh, okay no my not thoughts on this part. movie we'll i get thought that. it was a pretty i'm not gonna say clever that's too generous no a pretty good That wasn't idea. much about this movie. It was clever. No, clever isn't the word. But um, I liked the idea of... <laughs> if someone told me to make a movie about this, I'd be like, yeah, I'd see that. Yeah. But... But yeah, so the idea that <laughs> the Beatles just don't exist anymore. Right. Um, and only, a f- I guess, a few people mm-hmm. remember. Arbitrarily. Ar- yeah. Because... Like there's three people. There's the one no... who does something with it, and then two randos. Two kids. Their excuse was, "Well, we can't sing." It's like, we can't right. sing, so we're just glad people. Okay, are. you can still make a lot of money just writing the fucking yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh so. yeah. But you know. Let's... But also, why? Why? Give yeah. me explanations. No, just give me any explanation. Their payoff is five fucking minutes with uh, John or Jack Malik. Yeah, Malik, and oh, that was a good part. Guy. That's a. Uh, we're gonna spoil a bunch of stuff because why not? Are we not supposed to? No, Do you it doesn't really spoil? matter. I spoil things. Okay, but it's just because like it's all right. We're spoiling a horrendous fucking. Movie, yeah, you so don't need like to see it. Important. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go see it. But it's. I'm glad it was an independent film. I'm glad that their AMC is putting out some movies that like people that. But then again, this is a kind of a sore on that because like I think people in the audience might have liked it. 
but as yeah, far that guy as like fucking next to us was having a <laughs> good fucking time with all those oh kids. yeah dude I, I think it was all the old people that were like i remember those songs i remember out. when i saw them remember when the john mccartney's he was doing <laughs> john mccartney i remember ringo like it was tuesday but but they don't remember tuesday which is they don't know yeah they and also okay the whole eleanor rigby thing i figured so he had trouble figuring out Don't Eleanor Rigby oh for whatever God. reason. And then it was, he figured it out. And that's it. And yeah. then and nothing else happened. You were so confident. There was like this one moment. You were moment. so confident where all, because it's a good like 15 minute focus on it. Yeah. Just uh, this one to remember song. The, oh, okay. So the Beatles don't exist in this world. Yeah. Uh, because all the power in the entire planet <laughs> goes out, which doesn't make fucking for breaking headline seconds. news. Um, so yeah, it's not like the stock exchange would completely fall or anything <laughs> like that. So let's not worry about that. So the main thing that happens is we that, lost uh, connection to the International Space Station for 12 seconds. Exactly, which could be life or death, but whatever. <laughs> um, the main thing is no one remembers the Beatles. It's like the Beatles never existed. Oh my god. So that's that's what's going on. Just to yeah. so we don't sound like idiots talking about no, stupidness. It's the the it. This is a foundation of stupid. There was like. Like the la there's a layer of like, you really made a movie about this, and then but they I just kept it. The idea though. But it's like, the Coke doesn't exist. No, okay, and I was getting there. <laughs> cool that the Beatles don't exist. Whatever, I'll suspend my complete suspension of disbelief and watch your fucking movie. But then Coke doesn't exist. Yeah. Cigarettes are not Cigarette. a thing. Yeah, literally. Which are before the Beatles, <laughs> um, and um, Harry Potter at yeah, the Harry end Potter, you find out doesn't exist. Doesn't exist uh, because. It doesn't matter. Uh, and oh, what really just made me cringe. Like, I don't physically cringe usually, uh -huh. but when I heard Thursday Night Live, oh, yeah. I wanted to just <laughs> leave the fucking theater. Like, you what a stupid left after thing to change. The, uh, they, were, he was, they were doing the name album names, the album titles, and he was like... <laughs> right before that scene, I was like, if they do something with fucking the White Album, <laughs> I'm just going to lose my mind. Yeah. And then two minutes later. Right. And then it's something, of course, you got to make a joke about it. A little, it's a little too yes, racial. It's not too diverse. Little Look at racial. all that white. Oh, Look that it. guy next to us loved it. It was like, <laughs> it was, oh my god. This this movie, I don't like. Or Sergeant Pepper's lonely, or Sergeant Pepper's lonely. Yeah, they're making Hulk fun band. of it. It's Dude, pe pe peppers on their head. Was the, what al that was. the album cover looks cool. I thought, like, honestly, that was like some it Kanye. Cool, but I don't think they went for the cool. I think they went for the joke. I get what you're saying. With the peppers on their head. Yeah, <laughs> but I, but honestly, like the the heart. Thing with the like it was like a red cut out yeah with the no heart. i liked that it looked cool but yeah. like you just laughing at it because you're... and then abbey road oh god it was just the road it was just the road <laughs> that because you need four beetles to walk on that road <laughs> and I, and the, it's he, not cool if you don't yeah. have four beetles he didn't even, like even in the movie which would have been a funny joke if just to show yeah, he uh, wasn't even walking. Malik walking on the road nope. by himself it's just the no road. it was just a picture of the fucking road so they couldn't yeah. even nail that joke right. i would have left like the guy next to us mm -hmm. if they showed just him walking along i thought that would have been really funny they had that i was looking up images for this because i was like making the thumbnail and stuff yeah there are images of him walking on abbey road for the of poster the actor? yeah <laughs> On the poster, but not in the film. So they could have, they had the joke <laughs> fucking ready to go. Yeah. No, they gave you the joke before you even bought your ticket. So yeah. you're well, good. I wish they would have given me the fucking plot synopsis before the goddamn <laughs> buying of the ticket. Uh, That's the, $10. I'll I will say, again. Lily James did a really good job. She acted well. She looked very attractive. And I think overall, the that script was, was terrible. But she did great. That's Ellie, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she was like, like emotionally, like acting, like performance wise, she did a good job. Very good looking. But yeah, right, that helps. Yep. But hey. Goddamn. I thought Kate McKinnon was pretty funny too. Yeah, no, she was funny. Yeah. I just didn't like her character because it was too, like, it was a caricature. Like, that was how I was Like your typical you. Hollywood manager. Yeah, agent. like, yeah. you could have so much more, like, like even if like she she had like a weakness for like cats and stuff and like he got her a cat and she's like the great like you just can't make her so one dimensional that like it's just like yeah she's an asshole Hollywood manager that's her character mostly because like, that joke that joke has been done before oh done countless and countless times like maybe if this was 1958 and they hadn't thought yeah. of that joke yet it would have been really maybe swell. if maybe if all the movies where that joke was made 
didn't happen. By and the way, then the <laughs> and another stupid thing that I noticed, right? They kind of sneak it in towards the end yeah. with "Hey, dude." Hey, dude. Uh, I thought that was just a joke, and they weren't gonna call it "Hey, dude." No. But at the end, they slide it in, and they actually like, recorded it "Hey, dude." Oh my god. Yeah. That's I was like what the fuck. It's not even funny. No. It's not. No. It's not it's, funny. Like I was saying, it's like some dad thought of it oh no that was the trailer for the the dog movie yeah uh, no this is like what the fuck was that one called again? i don't remember what it's called but it's about a it's basically air the bud dog dies in the fucking air bud but it was uh nascar so it might be my favorite movie ever to come out ever i remember Just all the other trailer titles idea. but i can't remember that one it's like something speed something stupid like doesn't need to be created no the movie stupid. didn't need to be made there's a kevin costner is the dog yeah. that that might be a whole week of podcasts yeah. i might do i might watch that movie three times he's come a long week. way from Waterworld, i guess <laughs> dude Jesus it's so Christ. bad <laughs> but this movie downton abbey oh yeah, there, oh, yeah downton abbey was bad watched, uh, uh yeah watched, so watched. overall the uh like i guess plot I was okay so he's a guy that's the technical term but i don't know if that's what was delivered he's a okay so he's not a good musician and then all the beatles just don't exist anymore yeah, and then he goes song, and meets john band. lennon so like yeah so like the other beatles exist so like they exist but they're not the beatles so like where's paul and ringo in them yeah, did he I, just want to meet John Lennon? Why well, did... that's the one who got killed so young, so that's probably why they want you. Because fuck Ringo, right? Oh, right. So... No, Ringo's... And they did that one James Corden thing. Yeah. Where they were... He was on James Corden, and you apparently... Thought it was coming. You thought like Ringo and Paul were he there to like claim all the music, and it's like... They didn't even do anything with it. It was a dream it. or whatever they, it was. It was a dream, I guess? Or a daydream, yeah. Dude, like, you... No. This movie could have been decent. Like, it could have been at least decent. I will give it to the actor who played John Lennon. That and, was good. Or I guess maybe even the makeup Yeah, people. let's look up. I never looked up the, uh, what's yeah. it called? At least the makeup guys did a good job at making, an, like, a who yeah. would be alive John oh, yeah, Lennon. His, his nose and shit. Yeah, yeah, he had, like, the droopy nose. Yeah, definitely hooked nose there. Yeah. Uh, yeah so that was all right. Yeah, it's getting a 7 out of 10. And I like how... The, 7 stars out of 10. Are you out of your mind? What the fuck? Yeah, well, it's made for the general audience, I would say. Yeah, well, the general audience is fucking retarded because the meta score was fifty-five. Well, those are some honest. <laughs> yeah, that was fifty-five out of one hundred. Those are the place that. The, those are the professionals. Yeah, like I said, I was like five out of ten. <laughs> five out of ten. Um, <clears throat> better than Child's Play, which I did a podcast about before. Why Child's Play is not doing very well? That was so good. I, I honestly, my expectations. Honestly, this was like, so my expectations were higher for this than they were, than I got in Child's Play. The expectations were lower than I got. So you were pleasantly surprised. Yes. And this, I, I went was into this one too. I was like, okay, so it's going to be a drama with some comedy in it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to like what happens. What is, what happens when the Beatles don't exist and someone has to. Dude, that was out. Danny Boyle. <laughs> Danny. Played John Lennon? No, directed that. Oh. Did, what? He's say, like a famous director. Yeah, well, maybe he's past his prime. I yeah. Because goddamn. I want to. Oh, oh my! And the big deal by going on the pier oh, hotel, he the rooftop, the famous rooftop appearance by the Beatles uh, at the pier hotel. Yeah. And what we get instead, that's where they did my favorite song, "Get Back." Yeah. Uh, recorded. Which you did oh, reference several times. Yeah, we didn't get to hear it. Nope. But um, so. The big, it's a big audience. It's when uh, Jack Malik, who's the main character, gets famous. By the way, famous. the dude uh, that directed it to uh, Slumdog Millionaire. Which is an okay movie. I like Slumdog Millionaire. It's and one of the 27 ones. Hours he did, too. What's the other one? 127 Hours. I haven't seen that With one. James Franco. Where he uh, does the, like the arm, you know? No. It rocks. Oh, the one based on the true story, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I heard that one was good. I just haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I'm um, sure it's fine. Yeah. But anyway, so at the Pier Hotel. Yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt. Big, no problem. Big, because you're not. In, it's not a great story because it's a shit movie. But um, big, like one of the bigger things the Beatles did. And what do we get? We get him, John Malik, the big 
guy who does the Beatles songs and makes mil- monies off of it because the Beatles don't exist, but only he <laughs> remembers them. Don't even get me started again, sorry. They don't care. But uh, we hear one song, Help, which, mm-hmm. you know, and it's not because even Because he good. needed help. Yeah, you but it, it? It, it sucked, though. You get it? Like, even when he did it. He did help, but he made it like a yeah, 2000, at the end, like, like a early, help, help, like a early 2000s uh, rock cover. Hey, so guess, guess what the screenwriter of this? Uh, guess what other films that he wrote? Were they good ones? So, Love Actually. Okay, no. Four Weddings and a Funeral. Definitely not. About Time. I don't even know. Pirate Radio. No. Uh, and then that's it. Cool. I'm sure they got the best. Yeah, that was so. All the money went to Ed Sheeran, Sheeran fucking cameo. <laughs> Assholes. Yeah. Oh, he also wrote uh, "Mamma Mia." That's all I needed. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's the writing, folks. That's he the wrote, dialogue. He wrote a movie called Trash, and I'll leave it at that. Yeah, it so, was called Yesterday. It w- <laughs> nice. Nice. I know. I was pretty nice. spot on. There. That was good. I'm not gonna lie. That but. was good. Just a goddamn uh, shame of a movie, I'll tell you that. Yeah, not sure. good. I would not spend money on this, uh, but hey, do what you like. Um, if you want to watch a completely average about movie it, probably. for about an hour and 15 minutes and then be completely fucking just butt fucked by the last 30 minutes, it's yeah. the movie for you. This movie was two hours long, one hour and 56 minutes. Yeah, well, that's time we'll never see again. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Now we know what not to do. Yeah. Wait, it won something? Oh, I won a golden trailer award. Yeah, don't listen to the fucking trailer. <laughs> Talk about false advertising. Yeah. No, I just want to know the budget. I'm going to spoil it. Okay, the ending. This. So yeah, that's the, fine. The spoil it. Because that's the part where, fucking, where it broke my mind. Yeah. That that's oh, yeah, do please it. go through that. So, you know, at the end, they're at <laughs> Wembley Stadium. You know, a big deal kind of for the Beatles, too. Right. But oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. But uh, he, you know, his... Not ish girlfriend was there. Um, the worst love story so of all time. It, it really was. And then, and she kind of became a, I'll love you, but only if you don't do this. And at that yeah. point, she doesn't know who the Beatles are because nobody does. Either follow so your dreams in or that love context. Me. Exactly. That's in a, that context, it's like, awful. if you want to love me, I don't want you to accomplish anything. Yep. Thanks for the support, babe. Appreciate it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm glad you're right by my side. Fuck, that gets me so mad. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so it does the concert. Then, you know, as you can tell with most of these types of movies, calls his girlfriend up and projects her giant face on the screen, does the whole I love you bit like any other rom-com, and then admits to admits to everyone at Wembley Stadium that, in the world, I guess, he steals all that the he Beatles stole all the, the music and lyrics. And not only that, but he releases all of the music for free Which, on the internet. Which brings me to another thing. He, when All music is pretty much already free, so right. no one gives a shit. Right, but when he releases that music for free... Why? Now, it's all, it all comes to the ending. So, obviously that happens, and they go back to their little normal life, life in Suffolk, England. And, you know, happily ever after, they get married, don't age, have children. <laughs> um, and he still... He still becomes, don't age. He becomes a teacher again, which was his job before he started singing. Which they didn't even tell you until probably a quarter of the way through the right. movie. Like Back when, yeah, the whole you have no option. Dude, 88% of users like this movie. Well, Google users. Yeah, and that's the... Uh, that's Facebook great. is giving it a 4.7 out of 5. Yeah, they're going to be world leaders one day, and that's horrifying. <laughs> Um, People who use Facebook? No. Yeah. Not world leaders. No, I meant the 88% who like oh, their users. Yeah, hopefully not. Not good. 60% of Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, uh, God. Well, that's that's awfully generous considering Rotten Tomatoes is usually pretty fair and right. reliable. But anyway, so then, yeah, at the end, you know, they, him and his not so girlfriend then suddenly become married, of course, uh, who, by the way, her boyfriend at the time took super duper well. Um,. And then at the end, they married and have children, but Universal, who was the one who were making the album for them, right. don't sue. Yeah. They live happily ever after, and Universal just doesn't right. care. Yeah, no, that's fine. No. No. No, just that's, released, they're fine. Because that's their content. No, it's fine. Yeah. No, it's no, they, no, they'll just get married. No, it's fine. They were they got married. It's fine. No, don't worry about it. And that's another, at the end, too. No, they would, they, he would 110% get 
butt fucked by he Universal. He sued to the fucking Stone Age. The hours and hours that they put in to make that album a a double. It would it was a double it album. It would have been all the Beatles songs. Every Beatles which recording also makes me ask ever. what happens when he does all the Beatles songs. Then he's got nothing. Right. So, no, he's a teacher. He well, just goes. Teacher. We don't ask questions. He's like a that. teacher. Yeah, we can't but ask he, questions of the movie. That's the thing. People that think a lot about movies or like read into things will hate this movie. Yeah. But people that don't questions. are fine with it. Yeah. They was like, it was a good movie. Yeah, like the colors, the soundtrack yeah, was I good. Yeah, a couple of good things. Dude, the audience members. I also hated the all those uh, titles. They had so many like random stupid titles. They had stupid transitions. There was a fucking balloon transition. That... Connor loves the balloon transition. Oh my God. If you're going to... Um, don't ever do that again. Yeah. I I was so that was a PowerPoint presentation transition, and I want my money back. Yeah. That's not okay. Why did you give this person who edited this film a job? I mean, they should get a job, but then you should be like, that's not a good job. Demand something better. I want something different. Don't be like okay with it. Ugh. I don't know. Yeah. You did a good job, everyone that made the movie, but you also no, made man. me very angry. Eleanor Rigby, no payoff. Why? No payoff. Why is there? Why did? You why did John Lennon get there? That they were gonna fucking play it off for her. They like, didn't pay anything off. And I thought, because then I said to you, there was no payoff. At the end, there, in the background, when he was on the stage at Wembley, yeah. In the background, it oh, was something Ellie in was the there. way she moves was yeah. kind of like playing. Right. But the instrumental part, like, okay, that that would be that a nice would make romantic sense. way to maybe, yeah. you know, you admit you're a lying thief about no. a band who technically doesn't exist in your world anymore. So I don't, whatever. But anyway, the it people says like something this, in the wishes. It's playing. I'm like, okay, that'll be like a nice kind of There's a no calm off. way to end it. No but no, off. then it just ends, and then they run away from people and yeah. happily ever after. It's like if, if like right, but <laughs> it's like if right before the crescendo of like an orchestra, they all just like got up and went home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like the, a symphony. It's like the space one, you know, like, where it goes like do do. Yeah. Bum bum. It's like if they didn't have the bum bum. Yeah. Bum. It's like the da da da. And then they all got up, and that's the end of the concert. That's what that was that, fucking like. Everyone leaves. It fucking and then the audience just freaks out. Yeah. It's like no, there's definitely something else like, that should happen right now. No, no. Yeah, that's what that was like, and it was okay. unfortunately bad. Okay, final thoughts. I think that's about it. I don't know how much more we can drone on about this dog shit. Yeah. Don't. I'm, final I won't thoughts. tell someone to not watch a movie because you should know what a bad movie is and see it for yourself. Yeah. Then just skip this one and wait for the next bad movie. If you see it, watch it for free. Yeah. No matter how that is, on TV, on streaming platforms. The Pirate Bay. On a ship, a, a cruise, cruise ship and with your friends. That's what that kind of movie is. Shitty movies you get for free on cruise trips. Yeah, cruise, yeah, yeah. Uh, cruises. You get it like, it's like preloaded in your room. Yeah. Like it's on the on the thing. It's like, but it's oh, not even when they I charge like the for Beatles. It. Yeah. And then you watch it at one night and you're like halfway through and you're like, should we go do something? Yeah. I like. It's one of those things where you have some time to kill before like the nightlife yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just like, throw this on. Yeah. And it's like, well, there's some Beatles songs on it, yeah. but you might as well just throw on the, the Beatles album. Which is good because those people are going to be the fortunate viewers on the cruise ship because they won't stay for the whole thing right. and won't be fucking pissed off by the ending. So what they're going to be left with yeah. is just the averageness, not yeah. the fucking This movie was like, this movie was painfully average it until was. it was bad. You're that's, right. That's the problem. And that's the thing. It teases you along just selling itself as it a, could just be a okay. halfway mediocre movie. Yeah. And then it just fucking tears it's those ass like, cheeks pfft. open and goes in without lube. I'm telling you. Yeah. It's an unpleasant butt fucking. Well, I'm going to say five out of ten. I'm going to go three. I think five is generous. Five out of ten. The because biggest compliment I can give them is that they used cameras to shoot it. <laughs> it was in focus for the most part. Yeah, for the Good. most part. Good job. You had more than two colors on the screen? Solid. That's at least more than a two. All the money for Ed Sheeran to fucking be in there. Yo, Ed Millions. Sheeran, there's no reason. He's not a good actor. He's no. not a good actor. No. He's. Why is he in so many things? 
Does he just ask to be in them? And they're like, oh, you're Ed Sheeran. Maybe. He was in Game of Thrones. That's what I was saying. at least he like, had the benefit of being in there for one scene only. Oh, right. Not coming back. And hey, He's the one who recommended hey, the Hey Dude. dude. You got to do Hey Dude, man. It's, it's more modern. <laughs> All right, douchebags. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this. That's fine. It's been a god. It's a fucking shitty movie. That's all. So, John, what do you have? What do you, what do you do with your life in terms of things to promote? Oh, am I plugging right now? Yeah, you can plug some stuff. Okay, so every Thursday. <laughs> that was a long way yeah. around there. Yeah. So every Thursday uh, on SoundCloud, you can follow him at Sun Scotty, S O N Scotty. Uh, Drinks at five. That's my podcast. With, I, oh, uh, I didn't think I named it in the beginning. Oh, did we already? I thought I that was part remember. of the intro that we didn't get. I don't know. Whatever. whatever. So, yeah, Drinks at Five. It's on Scotty uh, on SoundCloud, and we share it on the Facebook if you're there. And uh, I was on an episode. You, he was. It was yeah. actually one of the higher watched, like, viewed episodes as well. So, <laughs> purchased views, whatever. Um, and uh, that's it. Do I plug anything else? I don't no, know. I think that's it. Where do you work? I, mean, I could plug my band, or not my band, my friend's band. You could, if you want. Okay, Broken Strings. Broken follow Strings. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram. I don't follow them, but I might after this. They're just country rock okay. stuff. So I got a hair on my face. It's like a, like a Creedence type. I like Creedence. Or yeah, you, like, like they'll do classic rock. They're a cover yeah. band. They'll do classic rock. Uh, okay. uh, a couple songs that uh, my friend Travis wrote himself that he does, so that's always nice. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm Connor Minkowitz, whatever Mink, and uh, I got a Mink Blot. Mink, YouTube.com slash C slash Mink Blot. I got SoundCloud.com. C. That's the just how YouTube does it because there's too oh, many channels. Channel? Yeah, gotcha. there's too many channels, so I think they were like, all right, we'll let you have one, but you gotta you gotta put, put the C, C there. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, SoundCloud.com slash Ultra Mink because I make music too, and I'm. Okay, you add it. I've been doing it for like a month, so Sounds don't expect for a month's the world. worth of stuff. Uh, thanks, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, and other than that, I got uh, I got a podcast with Ryan, who's son Scotty, who's on. Oh, I didn't mention his real name. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, so. Ryan Murray. He's Murray. son Scotty, who SoundCloud.com slash son Scotty. That's dual major, which is our music podcast where we bullshit about uh the tunage is it mostly stuff. like rap and stuff yeah i mean it's i would say rap is generally but it's modern music though. rap is like the bridge that brings our musical tastes together, together sure i would say and he likes some stuff and then i like some stuff yeah so. that's it's, one thing you can fun. say about ryan he has a pretty open mu- he is a rapper right. which you'll find out if you go to sans and right. SoundCloud and watch trick is alive sorry i did it again uh, you can do it every one. Drinks of five. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's he's a rapper. But yeah, he has a pretty eclectic music taste. He'll listen to a little bit of everything, mm-hmm. which, which is, is what we all should do. Yeah, we have uh, a segment, so so, where uh, I give him double an album. Major. Dual major. Oh, I thought it was double. Okay. I mean, it is, but yeah, yeah, double. Yeah, you I, get it. I yeah. You get it now. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we're. I'm there now. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, and it's like Ooh, a red looks popping. That's good. Well, it's a Canon, so red looks good on Canons. I don't know much about cameras. I'll take your word for it. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay. But what does matter is that we're here. We saw a terrible average movie today. Terribly average. No, average slash hyphen and terrible. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's somewhere between average and terrible. Yeah. I'll, yes. That's, that's a good I think, a decent description. It is. It is. Uh, and, yeah. So... Have a good one. Enjoy Bye. your day. It's probably nice out where you are. And if it's not, it's gorgeous. Sucks outside here. Sucks for you. Like what are you in, in what row. are you in Liverpool? What are you I got Apparently the Beatles. Clouds. <laughs> <laughs> but Eleanor Rig well, I guess Eleanor Rugby's tomb or No, Beatles Eleanor Rigby still be there though. Everything about the Beatles exists, but the Beatles are not the Beatles. Except their inspiration. The inspiration is the still there. The inspiration for the Beatles is still there, yeah. right? Eleanor Rugby's grave. So someone could have wouldn't someone else have done that in in Liverpool? Are those the, were those the only four white kids making music in Liverpool? Probably. Liverpool's not a very rich part of Great Britain. But they were the only four. <laughs> if there's a hundred people, now we're that's questioning four real percent life. of people. We're not questioning the movie, and we're questioning the actual real life of how. It well, happened. right. But if there was another Beatles 
And then the Beatles were just like another group of four kids. In well, it could be three. It could not... be three. You're true. Yeah. He did it with one. That's what I'm Blake, saying. You know? Like if you have the song. But he also cheated because he knew. Well, and also, yeah, the, there was a moral in there of the Beatles wouldn't have been popular if it weren't for record labels. That was literally like the point that they were That's making by that, that picture at the end. It's oh, like God. imagine a world without the Beatles. Like stop taking yourself so fucking seriously, movie. You're not that good. No. Nah. You're not saving Private Ryan, so just sit down. All right, this is too long. Yeah, fucking A. All right, peace out. Bye. I like to picture Jesus as a ninja fighting off evil samurai. How much you want to make a bet I can throw a football over the mountains? What? English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Yeah, fuck it, dude. Let's go bowling. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. That wasn't weird.